Hello, welcome back. If you watched this last video, we talked about how you can go about setting up your first CX dashboard. Now this video was a follow-up to that, where we're going to discuss how you can add multiple survey projects to the same dashboard so you can analyze them both at the exact same time. The way in which we're gonna go about doing this is to first head over to the larger dashboard, which contains the smaller dashboard that we built in this video up here. So to start, what we did was we went into our dashboard, we created a dashboard, and then in that dashboard, we built a page that analyzed the data from that new higher pulse survey. Now what we want to do is analyze the data from both this new higher pulse survey and this three month pulse survey in the same place. And to do that, we're gonna have to make some few tweaks to how we set up our next dashboard. So heading into pulse survey dashboard, the larger project, what we're going to do now is we're going to create a dashboard which is called pulse survey analysis. I'm gonna create this dashboard from scratch and then in here, just like I did in the previous video, I'm gonna to head to settings, dashboard data should be the first one I have, surveys, I'm going to look for all projects, I'm going to look for the new hire pull survey, that one looks good, add that right in, and then up in the top right corner, where it says add source, we're going to click on that to add a second survey. Go to surveys again, all projects, three month pulse survey. And then you'll see here, both of these sources get mapped in. So now this all looks good. Q1, Q2, Q3, they all look just great. This one wasn't mapped for some reason. So I'll double check, I'm gonna map that in. And then once I make sure everything is mapped in both surveys, I'll save that. And they'll be good to go. So both surveys are mapped in here and then I should be able to analyze the data from both of them in the exact same place. So once we head back to the dashboard in this new page, I'll we'll rename this to All right, it's gonna take a little bit of time before this guy completes, so I'll refresh and then come back to this and then it should be complete. Perfect. Oh, probably 30 more seconds. But what I can do now is from this first survey, actually, this is a really neat trick you always want to add to your dashboards. So this filter, if I go to data set source, this one right here, this allows you to toggle between one survey and another. So in here I can switch between the new higher pulse survey, the three month pulse survey, or have both of them displaying at the same time. So if I add a widget, let's say I wanted to add a line chart. I want to show, maybe not a line chart. Let's look at something like count, and then Q2, depend on working here. And then let me change that to a vertical bar chart. Okay, yes, that's fine. Interesting, it's being difficult. All right, let's rebuild that. So vertical bar chart, metric is count, X axis is Q2. All right, now for both surveys combined, I can see that likely is very, very, very strong. So likely, unlikely is the least selected option, unsure, relatively selected, very likely, relatively selected, and very unlikely, relatively unselected. So now what I can do is I'll first display this, and we'll see for the combined data set, it's very likely that people are going to stay at the company for a while. But if I toggle between this, the new higher pulse survey, I can see the data for that specific survey. 
I can toggle to see the three month pulse survey, see data for that specific survey, or change it to all where I can see all the data for both. This is really helpful, especially if you're trying to sort of view changes over time for different surveys that happen at different points in time. Now, the way in which you're gonna combine these two is what I'm going to do is duplicate this widget. Let me first make sure this is the right size. Perfect, so I'm gonna duplicate this widget. Done, keep it exactly as it is. Move this guy here. Edit this, call this new higher pulse survey. Keep everything exactly the same. And the one difference I'm going to add is I might want to change this to a pie chart just so that it's a lot easier to visualize. The one thing I'm going to add is I'm going to add this filter that I added at the top of the page, data set source, and then change this to the new higher pulse survey. And then we can see the breakdown of the data there. Likely 40%, very likely 26, unsure 33. And then doing the exact same thing, I'm gonna remove this because we don't want a vertical bar and duplicate this. Rename this to three month pulse survey, keeping everything exactly the same. Then change this filter from new higher pulse survey to three month survey. And then we can see how the data has changed from when people were originally hired to now. So at the new hire mark, they were 100% at unsure to very likely, and then at the three month pulse survey, some of them moved to very unlikely, some of them moved to unlikely, while about 80% of them stayed in either unsure to very likely. So this would be how you'd set up a dashboard that has multiple sources so you can analyze data across different surveys. To recap, what you're going to want to do is head to the settings Build the dashboard exactly as you had it before in the previous video. Go to add source here in the top right corner. Click on add source, click the survey you want. And then in the actual pages themselves, you're going to want to add a data set source filter either to the page, to toggle them from one survey to the other or on a widget level to show that change over time for those different surveys if the surveys happen at different points in time. Hope that clarifies things. If you have additional questions or concerns or anything else you want to go over, please feel free to reach out. Always happy to clarify anything or go over anything further. Hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you again soon in the next video. Take care.